In this video, I will be taking you on a trip back in professional sports history. New England professional sports history to be more specific as I will dive into former professional sports teams that have called the New England area of the United States home. Current teams that play here in New England won't be covered as I will only be discussing teams that no longer play for a city here in New England. Strap yourself in as history class is now in session. The Atlanta Braves, a current Major League Baseball franchise, originated in Boston, Massachusetts. The franchise began in 1871 as the Boston Braves, where the franchise would stay in Boston until 1952, after which they moved to Milwaukee to become the Milwaukee Braves and then eventually to Atlanta to become the Atlanta Braves. The Boston franchise played at South End Grounds from 1871 to 1914 and then at Braves Field from 1915 to 1952. Braves Field is now Nickerson Field of Boston University. The franchise from Boston to Milwaukee to Atlanta is the oldest continuous professional baseball franchise. The Cincinnati Red Stockings, established in 1869 as the first openly all-professional baseball team voted to dissolve after the 1870 season, player manager Harry Wright then went to Boston, Massachusetts at the invitation of Boston Red Stockings founder Ivers Whitney Adams with brother George and two other Cincinnati players to form the nucleus of the Boston Red Stockings. A charter member of the National Association of Professional Baseball Players, the original Boston Red Stockings team and its successors can lay claim to being the oldest continuously playing team in American professional sports. Led by the Wright brothers, Barnes and Spaulding, the Red Stockings dominated the National Association, winning four of the league's five championships, the team became one of the National League's charter franchises in 1876, sometimes called the Red Caps. Boston came to be called the Bean Eaters by sports writers in 1883 while retaining red as the team color. Although somewhat stripped of talent in the National League's inaugural year, Boston bounced back to win the 1877 and 1878 pennants. The Red Caps slash Bean Eaters were one of the league's dominant teams during the 19th century, winning a total of eight pennants. For most of that time, their manager was Frank Selly, the first manager not to double as a player as well. The 1898 team finished 102 and 47, a club record for wins that would stand for almost a century. The team was decimated when the upstart American League's new Boston entry set up shop in 1901. Many of the Bean Eaters stars jumped to the new team, which offered contracts that the Bean Eaters owners didn't even bother to match. The only managed one winning season from 1900 to 1913 and lost 100 or more games six times during that span. In 1907, they eliminated the last bit of red from their stockings because their manager thought the red dye could cause wounds to become infected. Boston's American League club's owner, Charles Taylor, wasted little to no time in changing his team name to the Red Sox in place of the generic Americans. When George and John Dovey acquired the club in 1907, the team earned the moniker Doves when purchased by William Hepburn Russell in 1911. Punning reporters tried out rustlers. However, clever monikers did nothing to change the National League's club's luck. The team adopted an official name, the Braves, for the first time in 1912. Their owner, James Gaffney, was a member of New York City's political machine, Tammany Hall, which used an Indian chief as their symbol. With the rise of Ted Williams for the Red Sox, it became clear the Braves were no longer Boston's number one team. Amid four mediocre seasons after 1948, which they reached the World Series, attendance steadily dwindled even though Braves Field had the reputation of being more family-friendly than Fenway Park. For half a century, the major leagues had not had a single franchise relocation. The Braves played their last home game in Boston on September 21st, 1952, losing to the Brooklyn Dodgers 8-2 before 8,822 fans at Braves Field. The home attendance for the 1952 season was just under 282,000. On March 13, 1953, owner Lou Perini said that he would seek permission from the National League to move the Braves to Milwaukee. After the franchise's long history in Boston, the day became known as Black Friday, in the city as fans mourned the team's exit after eight decades. Perini, however, pointed to dwindling attendance as the main reason for the relocation. He announced that he had recently bought out his original partners. He announced Milwaukee as that was where the Braves had their top farm club, 
the Brewers, Milwaukee had long been a possible target for relocation. Bill Veek had tried to move his St. Louis Browns there earlier the same year, but his proposal had been voted down by the American League owners. Going into spring training 1953, it appeared that the Braves would play another year in Boston. However, during a game against the New York Yankees on March 18th, the sale was announced final and that the team would move to Milwaukee immediately. The All-Star game had been scheduled for Braves Field that year. However, it was moved to Crosley Field and hosted by the Cincinnati Reds. The Braves franchise moved their AAA Brewers from Milwaukee to Toledo, Ohio. After the Braves moved to Milwaukee in 1953, the Braves Field site was sold to Boston University and reconstructed as Nickerson Field, the home of many Boston University teams. The Braves Field scoreboard was sold to the Kansas City Athletics and used at Municipal Stadium. I really hope you enjoyed this history lesson on a former New England sports team that you may or may not have known about. Truthfully, as I make these videos about these former New England teams, I'm learning a lot myself. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and please consider subscribing if you're new to the channel or haven't considered subscribing yet. Please comment your thoughts down below as I would love to hear them. But until the next team, I will see you in the next one. But as always, I love you and I will see ya. Oh, 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 oh,